The discovery of Tutankhamun's tomb in 1922 captivated the world. But it was the presence of his rare and sacred iron dagger that proved to be an enduring mystery. The ancient Egyptians knew where to find iron ore, but at the time the boy king died, no one was able to smelt it to create iron itself. This was a dagger that shouldn't exist. So where had it come from? The Natural History Museum of London has one of the finest collections of meteorites in the world. Curator Sarah Russell makes sure these rare objects are always secure. The vault is where we keep some of our most precious samples. Meteorites that have a particular scientific story to tell. I love all the meteorites, but I guess my super favorites are ones that formed right at the beginning of the solar system that can really tell us how the planets formed, because I think these are the most scientifically useful. There are two main types of meteorite that land on Earth, and they're made of different materials. Most of them come from asteroids, although some come from the moon, some come from Mars. Uh, but we have all asteroidal ones here. And among the asteroidal ones, most of them are made of rock. They've got rounded blobs in them called uh, chondrules. They formed right at the beginning of our solar system. And a few meteorites are made mostly of iron. So this is an example of an iron meteorite that's really super heavy, too heavy to pick up. Around one in 20 are made mostly of iron. So, that, so they're among a rare type. But where have these meteorites journeyed from? Most meteorites are debris, leftovers from the birth of the solar system four and a half billion years ago. And most of them orbit the sun between Jupiter and Mars in the asteroid belt. Things in the asteroid belt can be quite chaotic. Often they crash into each other or uh, they can be affected by the gravity of Jupiter, which is the biggest uh, planet in our solar system. And uh, these uh, things can, can make them career into the inner solar system and possibly crash down on Earth. 